Mundi is an integrated paper and packaging group which is dual listed on the JSE and on the London Stock Exchange. That's astonishing. You know, it has done so well since it was kicked out of the Anglo fold back in the day. It's got a dual listed structure, that's correct. But remember, it does everything from the growing of the wood and the manufacturing of pulp. It's got principal assets in developing countries where things are cheap. And then it has become a global leader in corrugated and craft paper. Those are the two big parts of its business. Looking at market cap here on Monday, we are sitting at 118.4 billion rand, a PE of 16.8, dividend yield of 2.36%. Your thoughts on, on David Monday. Is David Hathorne still correct. at the helm? David Monday, David Hathorne Monday. David Hathorne. <laughs> That's David correct. Goal, I mean, your thoughts have got to be positive on this, uh, Mia. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you can just see there the share price has done particularly well. Also, over the last, you know, couple of years since they've been, you know, unwound from, from um, Anglo, they've done well for investors. They moved into, like I said, the um, specialized packaging and printing and coating and all of those sort of things. Also exposed to, um, you know, interesting markets. I think from a South African perspective, something that could have helped drive that um, price is the fact that um, we've seen seen a, de a deterioration of the rand over time and um, they operate in, in, in euros mostly but also into um, developing markets in, in the eurozone like Poland and well also big So you've got the, the rand hedge component which is a big plus yes. in the current environment. Exactly. So uh, having said that we know what the euro is doing against the rand but, um, but still you know it's a company that's moved into an interesting sort of environment and we you know they've done they've done better than the normal paper producers. Well we, we've missed the boat on Monday. We have dabbled a little bit with it in the day uh, with the Mondies and um, we were part of that we haven't been in it in that recent rush up but uh, yeah David Hathorne's done a fabulous job they've acquired very well they've rationalized the operations that they've acquired they picked up assets in places like Russia Czechoslovakia or Czech Republic they call it now uh, they bought assets in uh, Turkey as well they've got assets down here in this country but not mm. in the packaging arena more in the production side so a very good performance and in recent times a very strong performer in euros reporting in his home currency and listed in London so the MNDs and M uh, MNPs the MNPs are the ones that are listed in the UK market so I think in the United Kingdom market in London it's viewed as a good emerging market mm. industrial growth success story that delivers consistent earnings growth and which is a world leader in a p particular area where they don't see any decline in sales the big question is whether you would deploy new money at current levels. Yes, you know, it has run hard, so I don't fr think from a valuation perspective it's cheap. I think if you think that the RAND um, euro situation that we've seen um, over the last year or so strengthened, so we've actually strengthened against the euro over the last while. If we think that that's going to reverse and we're, gonna th we're thinking that QE might have an effect on the euro, this might be something to look at from that perspective, but I think, you know, just from a price perspective, it has run a bit. Mm. So I'm not sure how to boat. answer that <laughs> question. Not. It's tough yeah. because I think they're going to continue to do well, and they've done an acquisition in the U.S. recently, which is quite brave and quite bold. Uh, this whole global empire is run by David Hathorne from Melrose Arch here in South Africa. But they seem to have a knack of appointing good people in each of the regional operations and getting all these production efficiencies. They say net net that the currency's moves in recent times have been positive for them. I'm not quite sure how, but I suppose it's an aggregation of all the different country operations. Well, let's, mm. let's call it hot or not From at current levels. Yeah, valuation perspective, I'm saying not hot, but operation-wise the, in the future, I think it's going to do well, the company. Paul? Mm, I'm going to tip towards hot just on account of how success stories of this scale, you know, 118 billion rand market caps, already a fair-sized player. You'd normally see a continuation of that. So I'm going to go with hot.